Happening now, two controversial proposals that would change the way Orlando's downtown bars and nightclubs do business just past their first reading before the city council. West 2's Amanda Dukes is live at City Hall where the meeting just wrapped up. And Amanda, how are bar and club owners reacting? Well, they are not happy tonight. One of the proposed ordinances puts a six month moratorium on new bars downtown, but the other more controversial ordinance would require bars serving alcohol after midnight to pony up for extra security. And some say that could put them out of business. Dozens of downtown bar and nightclub owners turned out for Monday's meeting of the Orlando City Council. They came to speak against a proposed ordinance that would require them to buy a permit to serve alcohol after midnight. They would also have to pay for additional off-duty police officers and extra security measures like metal detectors. The city says it's an attempt to make downtown safer late at night during hours when Orlando's police chief says crime spikes. There are too many illegal guns downtown. We all know that. The number of officers that are currently working downtown is a strain on our overall staffing. City officials and the police department claim the proposed ordinance will crack down on crimes like the shootings that have occurred in recent years. But the bar owners say it puts an unfair burden on them. The provisions in it give the police chief basically unlimited power to tax and, you know, require safety commitments from or, you know, safety elements from the downtown Orlando businesses. Um, and the cost could be hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars per year for some of the businesses, and it's going to put them out of business. A few speakers at the public hearing expressed their support of the proposed ordinance, including one downtown resident. I was shocked when I learned on the news that the city was spending $40,000 a weekend to pay for extra security. Yikes. Why should I, as a taxpayer in the city, pay for extra security needed for downtown establishment. Now, these two proposed ordinances did pass tonight on the first reading. They still have to go to a second reading in March, and there could be changes as the city and bar owners continue to talk. Live in downtown Orlando, Amanda Dukes, West 2 News.